And now, the Premier Radio Networks proudly presents Casey Kasem's American Top 40, the 70s. This week's presentation is from March 11th, 1978. <laughs> Hello again, and welcome to American Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem, and this is our weekly countdown of the 40 most popular songs in the country. Well, falling out of the survey this week were Randy Newman, Player, Foreigner, Odyssey, and Rod Stewart. And moving into the Top 40 are debut hits by Rod Stewart, Enchantment, England Dan and John Ford Coley, Van Halen, a new group, and ELO. Let's get it started right here. Number 40. The song in the lead-off position this week on AT40 has already gone all the way to number one on the soul chart. Performed by the five-man group from Detroit who call themselves Enchantment, their debut song at number 40 is It's You That I Need. records in the USA this week, Enchantment and It's You That I Need, a debut song. Well, now at number 39 in American Top 40 is the fifth consecutive Top 40 hit in the past two years by England Dan and John Ford Coley. The duo is really hot. Their song is We'll Never Have to Say Goodbye.
They debut at number 39 with We'll Never Have to Say Goodbye Again. But it's from coast to coast, American Top 40. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood on AT40, and our third debut song is a remake of the old Kinks hit from the 60s. Coming in at number 38, here's the four-man group from Pasadena, California, who call themselves Van Halen. They have You Really Got Me. Halen is the name of the group. They're newcomers. It's their first hit. They're at number 38 with a debut record. You really got me. Number 37. Here now is a third top 40 hit by one of the most popular concert artists in the country today. The first two were Dr. My Eyes and Here Come Those Tears Again. His current hit is on the chart for the second weekend at number 37, moving up three. Here's Jackson Brown and Running on Empty.
One of 15 male solo artists on American Top 40 this week. Second week on the chart, Jackson Brown. He wrote it and he produced it as well. It's running on empty. 36 hits to number one and counting down. Hey, it's Bob Kingsley, and currently the top 10 in CT40 is bookended by a hot lady. It's top 40 newcomer Casey Musgrave just landed her very first top 10 hit with her quirky tune called Merry Go Round, while Taylor Swift took over the top for her 11th time with Begin Again. Check out the progress of these and all your favorite stars and hits this weekend right here on the Country Top 40. Country Top 40. We're counting down the 40 biggest hits in the USA this week on AT40. I'm Casey Kasem, and we're up to number 36 now, where it looks like a lonely boy has found himself a friend. Here's Andrew Gold. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down a road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. I hope it always will stay this way My hat is off, won't you stand up and take a bow singer, songwriter, and producer as well. At number 36, moving up three with Thank You for Being a Friend. Number 35. Well, this week, Rod Stewart fell out of the top 40 with his former top 10 smash, You're In My Heart. And this week, he moves right back in with his latest release. Here's Rod Stewart and Hot Legs.
rock and roll and Englishman Rod Stewart on American Top 40 with a debut song at number 35, Hot Legs. Coming up, the latest hit by a man who's really lucky to be alive. Four years ago, on his way to a concert in the middle of a rainstorm while he was trying to fix a broken windshield wiper, he was hit by a car going 60 miles an hour and thrown 50 feet through the air. American Top 40. Every week here on AT40, you hear the biggest hits in the nation from Baltimore to Bakersfield, from Battle Creek to Baton Rouge. And the countdown continues now at number 34 with Lou Rawls, who sings Lady Love. Lady Love. Your love is peaceful like a summer's breeze. My Lady Love. With love that's tender as a baby's touch You give me all of the things that I need so much You're my world, lady love Lady love Your love is cooling like the winter snow My lady love Fire's glow And I keep on needing you Girl, a little more and more And I thank you My lady love Let me tell you that It's not easy Keep love going smooth You know people are people They all have their moves But it's so nice Just to have someone Thirty-four, moving up to with Lady Love. This is Casey Kasem on American Top Forty in Hollywood, and now I have the latest hit by a man who is really lucky to be alive. His name is Gene Cotton, and this is the story that he told us. Four years ago, Gene and his wife and son were on their way to a series of concerts he was doing in the South. It was nighttime, and it was raining pretty hard. Just outside of Nashville, the windshield wipers on Gene's car stopped working, so he pulled over to the side of the road to try to fix them. As he bent over the hood of his car, with his back to the road, another car traveling 60 miles an hour went out of control when the driver fell asleep at the wheel. And that speeding car clipped Gene, hurling him 50 feet through the air. Miraculously, that speeding car just missed hitting Gene's car with his family sitting inside. Well, doctors at the hospital Gene was taken to diagnosed his injuries as two broken legs, two broken hips, and five busted ribs. And they couldn't believe that the impact hadn't killed him. After a month spent in the hospital recuperating from those injuries, Gene's finances were very low. And he realized he desperately needed the money he would have made from the concerts he was scheduled to play to support his family and pay his medical bills. So, just three days after he got out of the hospital, Gene was back on stage performing. He told us his wife had to help him onto the stage before the audience came in. And then, with his ribs taped and both legs in casts, he'd sing his heart out. The music is coming a lot easier these days for Gene. This week, he's up to number 33 with his second top 40 hit, Before My Heart Finds Out. Well, you woke me from a dream about you Just to say that you were leaving I'm sleepy, but I thought that you said I love Forever is ended Well, before you walk out of my life Would you be especially Don't you say another word about it, darling Leave me now 
I see you writing something down And leaving it on the dresser The tears in your eyes look a lot like mine But I guess it's all for the better Well, before we say our last goodbye Baby, won't you hold me just one more time And don't you let my heart know Before my heart finds out Gene Cotton and Before My Heart Finds Out at number 33, moving up two on American Top 40. Coming up next, the highest debuting song of the week. Casey's Coast to Coast. We're counting down the 40 hottest records in the USA this week on American Top 40. And at number 32 in our countdown of the music America's listening to is the highest debuting song of the week. The group is the Electric Light Orchestra. Their last time in the 40 a few weeks ago, they got to number 13 with Turn to Stone. This one is Sweet Talking Woman.
Sweet Talking Woman, the highest debuting record of the week, coming in at number 32 by the Electric Light Orchestra from England. Well, three weeks from today, American Top 40 goes to the movies when we count down the 40 biggest hits from motion pictures from 1960 to the present. We'll remember some of America's favorite films with some of the biggest hits the movies have given us over the past 20 years. It's going to be a great show. I hope you'll make plans to be with us. Now, at number 31 on the countdown, Linda Ronstadt, moving up a notch with Poor, Poor, Pitiful Me. raised in Tucson, Arizona. Her home now is Los Angeles, California, and she's at number 31 with another hit song. This one is Poor, Poor, Pitiful Me. Number 30. Here now is the number one song on the soul chart for the second week in a row. Up three notches on American Top 40, it's Parliament with Flashlight.
flashlight on American Top 40, third week on the chart, now at number 30, it's by Parliament. We have a listener in Pennsylvania who wants to know when the national disco chart began and who was number one on that first survey. Well, the first Billboard disco chart came out only a year and a half ago, and the act in the number one spot then just happens to have two top ten smashes in our countdown right now. Details coming up. The hits from coast to coast, America. American Top 40 is heard every week in our 50 states and around the world on great radio stations like 4NA, Nambour, Queensland, Australia, WATT, Cadillac, Michigan, and KKBJ, Bemidji, Minnesota. The song at number 29 this week moves up five notches. Written by Norman Whitfield, it's done by Stargard, and it's called Which Way Is Up. who are Stargard. Their first hit is now at number 29, moving up five notches this week. It's the theme song from Which Way Is Up. Well, now on AT40, let's answer that question about disco history. It comes in from Rob McKern in Erie, Pennsylvania, and he writes, Dear Casey, you often mention songs that are big on the disco chart, so I'd like to know when the national disco chart began and who was the first act to occupy the number one spot. Well, Rob, the disco survey is really quite young. Billboard began publishing it back in 1976, September of 76. That was the first chart. And it's now based on the disco playlists in 20 cities. Now back to your question. On Billboard's first disco chart, who was number one? The answer? The hottest group in the world today. The trio who now have three songs on the disco chart. Stayin' Alive, Night Fever, and More Than a Woman. They were at number one on the first disco chart a year and a half ago with... You should be dancing. The Bee Gees, of course, who are currently dominating popular music almost every place you look or listen. So, that's the story on the disco chart, Rob. Thanks for writing. David Gates hasn't left his popular group Bread. He's just doing a little bit of moonlighting. Up two notches this week to number 28. Here's a tune he wrote and produced. David Gates with Goodbye Girl. But 
Tulsa, Oklahoma, making his home in Los Angeles at number 28, moving up two with Goodbye Girl, a title song from the movie. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood, counting them down on American Top 40. We've got 27 hits to go on our way to number one. Stay right there. This is Casey Kasem on AT40 in Hollywood. And now, our AT40 Extra. The number one smash that ended a chart record held for seven years by one of the biggest groups in the business. And it was a record they didn't mind giving up one bit. During the nine years since they began charting, this seven-man band from Illinois has become one of the most successful rock groups in history. Their impressive stats include 19 top 40 hits on the singles chart and 11 platinum albums, five of which went to number one. But for all their success, until the fall of 1976, this group held the miserable distinction of having more top ten singles without ever hitting number one than any other group in the rock era. In all, they had ten top ten singles. But on October 23, 1976, that streak ended when Chicago hit the top spot and stayed there for two weeks in a row with the very first number one single of their spectacular career. As an AT40 extra, here's the song they did it with. If you leave me now, you'll take away the biggest part of me. Ooh, no, baby, please don't go.
Chicago on AT40 with an extra, a number one song from 1976, If You Leave Me Now. This classic edition of Casey Kasem's American Top 40 is from March 11th, 1978. From Hollywood, this is Casey Kasem on American Top 40. And we're counting down the 40 hottest records in the nation on our way to the most popular song in America this week. Number 27. When the Academy Awards are held this year, John Williams will be his own toughest competition in the category of Best Original Score. He's nominated for his work in two super hit films, Star Wars and Close Encounters. At number 27, here's John Williams with the theme from Close Encounters. with theme from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. There's a group in our countdown who had to deal with the same hard times most young groups face when they start out, but they told us the biggest obstacle they had to overcome was the name they'd chosen for their group. They took the name of the 34th state in the Union, the Sunflower State. Casey's Coast to Coast American Top on AT40 this week, here's the record that takes the biggest drop. It moves all the way from number 11 down to number 26. It's Queen and We Are the Champions. I've paid my dues Time after time I've done my sentence But committed no crime And bad mistakes I've made a few My bows and my curtain calls. You brought me fame and fortune and everything that goes with it. I thank you all, but it's been no bed of roses, no pleasure cruise. I consider it a
of six English acts on American Top 40 this week with a former Top 10 record falling all the way from 11 to 26 this week. We are the champions. Well, now I have the current hit by a group who say the biggest obstacle they've had to face was their own name. The six-man band from the Midwest got together back in 1970, and for the next few years, they paid the same kind of dues most struggling young groups have to pay. They lived on a dollar a day, drove to bookings in an old bus that broke down every few miles, and so on. But when we spoke with the group's writer and keyboard man, Kerry Livgren, he told us what really slowed their career down was the image created by their name. You see, they took the name of the Sunflower State. Kansas. And Kerry says whenever they'd call record companies or promoters trying to get a contract or a job, people would expect to see a bluegrass group show up wearing coveralls and chewing on a piece of straw. And they got that same reaction wherever they went. Even their first record company wanted to promote them as an all-American, bicentennial, homegrown band of cowboy musicians. And when the boys in the band tried to get some attention from the press on their own, well, rock critics weren't exactly jumping at the chance to review a concert by a group named Kansas because it didn't sound like a rock group. After several years of struggling in their home state, they finally went national. And this week, their third top 40 hit is up to number 25. Here's Kansas with Dust in the Wind. I close my One of 16 groups in the countdown this week on American Top 40 at number 25, moving up a notch with Dust in the Wind. Number 24. One of last week's biggest moving records slows down a bit this week. Pushing three more notches up the 40, here's Bob Welch with Ebony Eyes.
Steve Welch on AT40. Debuted two weeks ago at 35. Last week went to 27. This week up to 24 with Ebony Eyes. We have 23 hits on our way to number one, and we're counting them down. Casey's Coast to Coast. AT40 originates in Hollywood. My name's Casey Kasem, and the countdown doesn't stop until we get to number one. Here's a tune that's been on the chart for six consecutive weeks. Moving up two this week to 23, it's Heat Wave. Always and forever, each moment with you is just like a dream to me that somehow came true. And I know tomorrow will still be the same Cause we've got a life of love that won't ever change And every day love me your own special way Take time to tell me you really care And we'll say tomorrow together I will love you There'll always be Sunshine When I look at you Something I can't explain Just the things that you do And if you get lonely Phone me and take A second to give to me that magic you make and every day love me your own special way melt all my heart away with a smile Third most popular song in the USA this week and moving up to Always and Forever by Heat Wave. We're three weeks away from another American Top 40 special countdown. On the first weekend in April, American Top 40 goes to the movies. We'll count down the 40 biggest hits to come from films in the past 20 years. We'll dig up some terrific memories of great moments on the silver screen as we listen to the 40 most popular songs written for or introduced in motion pictures from 1960 to the present. Make plans to join us. Now at number 22 and moving up six big notches, here's Radio with their first hit, Jack and Jill. Jack.
Jack and Jill by the group Radio, spelled R-A-Y-D-I-O. Taken from the name Ray Parker Jr., who produced and wrote this song at number 22 in the countdown. Number 21. Well, Yvonne Elliman's got herself a hot one. The biggest moving song within the 40 this week climbs eight notches. This is another song from the smash soundtrack of Saturday Night Fever. Here's Yvonne Elliman with If I Can't Have You. record within the countdown, moving up eight big notches this week to number 21, If I Can't Have You, from the soundtrack of Saturday Night Fever. One of the legendary stars of popular music was the most successful black artist of the pre-rock era. His name and tradition are being carried on today by his daughter. And her fifth top 40 hit is coming up. Casey's Coast to Coast, American Top 40. You're listening to the nation's biggest hits by the world's biggest pop stars as the countdown continues now with the tune halfway up the chart at number 20. Moving up to, it's Rita Coolidge and the way you do the things you do. You got a smile so bright.
Beach on American Top 40 and the way you do the things you do. The hit song that was first a hit by The Temptations back in 1964. Well, now on American Top 40, I have the latest hit by the daughter of the most successful black artist of the pre-rock era. A legendary superstar who earned that title on the strength of several all-time records that he set during the 40s and early 50s, and for his huge influence on other popular singers. This great singer and pianist had the number one album on the very first album chart Billboard ever printed. The chart date was March 15, 1945. The album was titled The King Cole Trio, and it went on to spend a total of 12 weeks in the number one position. On his own, without the trio, he went on to become the first black male solo artist to hit number one on the pop singles chart. That was in 1948 when he hit the top with the classic Nature Boy. Altogether, between 1944 and 1955, his four number one records, 12 top tens, along with a total of 274 weeks that he spent in the singles chart, combined to make him the most successful black recording act of the pre-rock era. His name, of course, is Nat King Cole. And currently, the 28-year-old lady who carries his name is also carrying on his tradition of talent and success. This week, she's up to number 19 on AT40 with her latest hit. Here's the daughter of Nat King Cole, Natalie Cole, with our love. Natalie Cole on American Top 40, moving up four to number 19 with Our Love. What could be better than a reunion of the superstar duo Simon and Garfunkel? Well, how about Simon and Garfunkel and their superstar pal, James Taylor? Moving up two this week, their song is Wonderful World. Number 18. What a wonderful, wonderful world this would be. Two 
Garfunkel with James Taylor and Paul Simon at number 18, moving up two in the survey this week on AT40 with Wonderful World. 17 hits to number one and counting them down. The hits from coast to coast. The JSC Library is located next to the BNS store and has something for everyone. You'll find books in many languages as well as an extensive children's collection. If you have no time to sit and read, many titles are also available as audiobook on CD. We have maps and travel guides covering the world. And the library subscribes to over 150 publications and has a large collection of CDs. If you're interested in learning another language, we have a comprehensive selection of courses on CD. The JFC Library holds over 7,000 Region 1 DVDs and a selection of PS3, Wii, Xbox and DS games. 14 internet workstations, a scanner and wireless access are now available. And to assist with research, we subscribe to over 40 online databases. All of our services are free of charge. So why not stop by or call us on extension 2669. Come in and discover all that the JFC Library has to offer. Casey Kasem has unlocked the American Top 40 vaults and is replaying original shows from the 80s. This week, Casey takes you back to March 5th, 1988. That's when George Harrison remembered when we was fab. Rick Astley was never going to give you up. Eric Carmen had hungry eyes. And Michael Bolton was sitting on the dock of the bay. You'll hear those songs, all the top 40 hits, and the long-distance dedications from March 5th, 1988, right here on American Top 40, the 80s, from the Premier Radio Networks. The countdown continues now as we get closer to the number one song in the USA. The tune at number 17 moves up four this week. Lenny LeBlanc and Pete Carr. I think about winter when I was with her And the snow was falling down Warm by the fire, I love being by her When there's no one else around Thank 
Blanc and Carr, the duo with their first hit song in AT40, now at number 17 and moving up. It's called Falling. One of Linda Ronstadt's first record producers is a man named John Boylan. These days, John is working with a six-man band who just happened to be one of the hottest acts in Australia. And they're doing very well in the States these days, too. At number 16, with their third top 40 hit, here's the Little River Band. Happy anniversary, baby. Got you on my Baby, got you on my mind. I'm so happy for you, baby. Now that you found somebody new, I see it in your eyes, Lord. It's no surprise what he can do for you. But when I look back, baby. American Top 40 with survey song number 16. Moving up a couple of notches with Happy Anniversary. I have a letter here at AT40 from a listener in Texas who's impressed with the huge success and influence of English recording acts during the past decade. But he wants to know if there has ever been a year since the British invasion of the 60s when no English acts hit number one on our charts. I've got your answer coming up. American Top 40. American Top 40 is heard in the 50 states and around the world every week on great radio stations like WJBD, Salem, Illinois, WFDT, Columbia City, Indiana, and NIRT, 
Tehran, Iran. Well, now it's time for the Bee Gees with the song they have kept in the top 10 for 17 consecutive weeks. And you know, in the 60s or 70s, no other song has done that. Here they are, the Bee Gees finally falling out of the top 10 to number 15 this week with How Deep Is Your Love? In the morning sun I feel you touch me In the pouring rain And the moment that you wander Far from me I want to feel you in my arms again And you come to me On a summer breeze Keep me warm in your love Then you softly After 17 weeks in the top 10, they fall to number 15 with How Deep Is Your Love? Well, now on AT40, let's get to that letter from Ben Singleton in Freeport, Texas. He writes, Dear Casey, since the Beatles came on the scene, the influence of English musical contributions has been great. But since the British invasion of the 60s, has there ever been a year when no English acts hit the top of the charts? Well, Ben, since the Beatles introduced that wave of English hitmakers to our charts back in 64, many English acts have continued their winning ways over here, and many have continued to hit the number one spot on the pop singles chart, too. But during the past 14 years, there's only been one year when no English recording act was able to hit number one in this country. And that year was 1972, when 22 different songs hit number one. They were performed by 19 Americans, along with Australian Helen Reddy, Canadian Neil Young, and Irishman Gilbert O'Sullivan. By the way, while 1972 interrupted an eight-year streak of English singers hitting the top of the charts, the British really came back strong in 73, with five English acts hitting the top spot. And the English have accounted for at least four number one songs every year since 72. And there's your answer, Ben. Thanks for writing. Now, on with the countdown. Number 14. During the late 60s and early 70s, Jay Ferguson worked with a couple of popular rock groups. One was Spirit, who had a top 40 hit back in 69 with I've Got a Line on You. The other was Jojo Gunn, who hit with Run, Run, Run. That was in 72. Well, currently, Jay has his first top 40 hit as a solo act. And it's the biggest hit of his career. Up two notches this week, Jay Ferguson with Thunder Island.
Jay Ferguson at number 14 and moving up on American Top 40, two notches with his first solo hit. It's Thunder Island. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood. We'll be right back with the top 13 tunes in the USA this week, including the number one song yet to come. Now it's time for a classic AT40 extra from March 11th, 1978. It's a song that debuted that week at number 82, and it won George Benson a Grammy for R&B male vocal. Here he is with On Broadway. a classic American Top 40 Extra from 1978. On Broadway by George Benson. You're tuned to a classic presentation of Casey Kasem's American Top 40 from March 11th, 1978. As we continue the countdown, I'd like to welcome five new members to the AT40 family of stations this week. WBGY, Tullahoma, Tennessee. KSTA, Coleman, Texas. KDXT, Missoula, Montana. WEEW, Washington, North Carolina. And KOZA, Odessa, Texas. Welcome aboard. Number 13. Leonard Skinner moves up to 10th week on the chart with the hit song, What's Your Name?
the 13th most popular song in the USA on AT40, Leonard Skinnerd and What's Your Name? This week, ABBA has the number one song in England with one of the songs on their latest album. That LP, by the way, is titled simply The Album. And currently, another cut from that album is climbing steadily up our survey. At number 12, here's ABBA and Name of the Game. Top 40 this week, and this one is from Sweden. They're at number 12, moving up two with Name of the Game, the group ABBA. Any list of the most successful American male groups in chart history would have to include the following names. The Mills Brothers, the Beach Boys, the Eagles, the Jacksons, and Chicago. But the American male group that has more number one singles than any other is none of the above. In a few minutes, we'll open our American Top 40 book of records and take a look at the champs. The hits from coast to coast. American Top 40. Three hours with American Top 40, and you know where your favorite songs are in the national music scene. My name's Casey Kasem, on with the countdown, and the tune at number 11 this week by Steely Dan. This is Peg.
The 11th most popular song in our countdown this week in American Top 40, Peg by Steely Dan. Well, now let's turn the pages of our AT40 book of records to the chapter on American male groups and check out the group that has more number one songs on the pop single survey than any other American group in chart history. Billboard began printing their pop survey back in 1940. If you look over the charts for the past 38 years, the most successful American male groups you'll find will include the Mills Brothers, the Beach Boys, Eagles, the Jacksons, and Chicago. But the American male group that has had more number one songs than any other in chart history is none of those. The four-man band who hold that honor began charting back in 62. And in the 16 years since then, they have hit number one five separate times. Their chart toppers include Sherry, Big Girls Don't Cry, Walk Like a Man, Ragdoll, and December 1963. And that lineup of hits has to tell you that the American male group with more number ones than any other is none other than the Four Seasons. Another entry in the AT40 Book of Records. Now on with the countdown. Number 10. The hottest male singer in America today leaps seven notches on AT40 with his current hit song. Here's Barry Manilow and Can't Smile Without You. Four short weeks, and he's already at number 10 this week with his latest, Can't Smile Without You. We have nine hits to number one, and we're counting them down. Casey's Coast to Coast. American Top 40. You're hearing the hottest hits in the USA as the countdown goes on now. We're up to number nine, a tune that last week was at number eight and the week before got as high as number three. Billy Joel and Just the Way You Are. Don't go changing to try and please me. You never let me down before. Mm -hmm. 
don't imagine You're too familiar And I don't see you anymore I would not leave you In times of trouble We never could have come this far I took the good times I'll take the bad times I'll take you just the way you are I need to know that you will always be The same old someone that I From the heart mm -hmm. I couldn't love you Any better I love you just the way you are Billy Joel still hanging in the top ten with that number. He's been in there for seven consecutive weeks. This week he falls from number eight to number nine with Just the Way You Are. Well, for the past few weeks, our research team here at AT40 has been digging through old press clippings and movie files to put together our next big special program. And on the first weekend in April, we'll unveil it to the world. American Top 40 goes to the movies in three weeks when we count down the 40 biggest hits from the movies from 1960 to the present. A dynamite show. Don't miss it. At number eight right now in our current countdown, the 20th week in the Top 40 and still inching its way upward, here's Paul Davis and I Go Crazy. Hello, girl, it's been a while. Guess you'll be glad to know. That I've learned how to laugh and smile Getting over you was slow They say old lovers can be good friends But I never thought I'd really see Satisfies your mind Tells you all of his dreams I know how much that means to you I realize that I was blind Just when I thought I was over you I see your face and it 
Go crazy. Coming up, a hit song from the most successful soundtrack album of the 70s. It's already sold over 7 million copies in the past three months, and it's currently selling at the phenomenal rate of 200,000 copies a day. The hits from coast to coast. American Top 40. Every week, American Top 40 is heard in our 50 states and around the world on such great radio stations as KTGA, Fort Dodge, Iowa, KJIN, Homa, Louisiana, WAKY, Louisville, Kentucky, and KRIB, Mason City, Iowa. The song at number seven in our countdown this week falls from number six, where it peaked the past couple of weeks. Here's Dance, Dance, Dance by Sheik. This week, the seventh most popular song in the USA, Falling One Notch. That's by the group Chic. Now on American Top 40, a current hit from the most successful soundtrack album of the 70s. An album that was released in December of 1977. And in the past three months has chalked up sales figures of 7 million copies. During that time, up until a couple of weeks ago, the album had been selling at the stunning rate of 250,000 copies a week. But now listen to this. For the past three weeks, this soundtrack album has been selling a mind-blowing 200,000 copies a day. 
Needless to say, it's outsold the soundtracks from Star Wars, The Way We Were, The Sting, and A Star Is Born. And in addition to those impressive numbers, this soundtrack album has spent more weeks at the top of the Billboard album chart than any other soundtrack during the 70s. Including this week, it spent eight weeks solidly entrenched in the number one position. And that outdoes former front runners The Sting with five weeks and A Star Is Born with six. At number six now, here's one of the four current hit singles from the most successful soundtrack album of the decade, Saturday Night Fever. The Bee Gees and Stayin' Alive. at number one. That song fell to number two last week. This week it's at number six. The Bee Gees and Stayin' Alive. The first of the five hottest records in the USA belongs to the superstar guitar player they call Slow Hand. And it's coming up next. They call him Slow Hand, and that's also the title of his latest album. Moving up to number five this week on American Top 40 as we count down the 40 biggest hits in the USA. Here's a cut from that LP, superstar singer-guitarist Eric Clapton and Lay Down Sally. There is nothing that is wrong in wanting you to stay here with me. I know you've got somewhere to go. Won't you make yourself at home and stay with me? And don't you ever leave? Lay down, Sally. I'm resting in my arms. Don't you think you want someone to talk to? Lay down, Sally. No need to leave so soon. I've been trying all night long just to talk to you. Oh, 
you go and say goodbye You can lay your worries down and stay with me Don't you ever leave Lay down, Sally I'm resting in my arms Don't you think you want someone to talk to Lay down, Sally There's no need to leave so soon Englishman Eric Clapton at number five, moving up to third week in the top ten with Lay Down, Sally. Number four. Well, we've said it before, and we've got to say it again. The most popular sound in America today belongs to the Bee Gees. This is one of six songs in the survey with their unmistakable Midas touch. So random, but the heartache lives on inside. Australian is 24 years old with her first hit song, written by Barry and Robin Gibb, and they also do some backup singing for her with a tune that's number four again this week, Emotion. Well, now, before we hear the three most popular songs in the nation, let's see what's at the top of the other charts. On the soul chart, the number one song is Flashlight by Parliament. On the country chart, the number one tune is Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys. Waylon and Willie sing that. The number one best-selling album is The Soundtrack from Saturday Night Fever, eighth week at number one. And now, at number three on American Top 40... Dan Hill from Canada, and sometimes when we touch. You ask me if I love you, and I choke on my reply. I'd rather hurt you honestly than mislead you with a lie. And who am I to judge you on what you say or do? I'm only just beginning to see the real you And sometimes when we turn The honesty's too much And I have to close my eyes and hide I wanna hold you till I die Battling 
Sometimes When We Touch, the third most popular song in the USA this week by Canadian Dan Hill. There's a singer in the countdown whose first professional job ran for four years in the same nightclub. And he wasn't paid a dime because he was too young and he was the wrong nationality. Today, he has the number one song in the country and it's coming up. Now it's time for a classic American Top 40 Extra from March 11th, 1978. It's a song that was featured in the movie Saturday Night Fever, starring John Travolta. Here's Tavares with More Than a Woman. Tavares with More Than a Woman, a classic American Top 40 Extra from 1978.
You're listening to American Top 40's weekly survey of the biggest hits from Fairbanks to Phoenix, from Hanover to Honolulu. I'm Casey Kasem, and we're up to the second most popular song in the USA. Guess who? <laughs> That's right, the Bee Gees. They move up three notches with Night Fever. Top 40 moved from number 5 to number 2 with Night Fever. Well, now I have the number one song in America by the singer who worked for four years at the same nightclub but couldn't collect one cent of pay because he was too young and the wrong nationality. It's the story of Andy Gibbs' younger days. Growing up in England, he was tagged by his classmates as the Bee Gees' little brother. And not liking school that much to begin with, he dropped out at the age of 13. Now, that just happened to coincide with his family's move to Spain. His parents assumed that Andy would go to school there. But this 13-year-old had other ideas. His famous brothers had given him a guitar four years earlier, and by this time, he was pretty good. So, he set out to find himself a gig near home. He auditioned for several tavern owners and was hired by one. Well, Andy had already started planning how to spend his cash when the Spanish government moved in. They told him that because he was under 18 and not a Spanish citizen, he couldn't work for pay. But Andy took the job just the same. And for the next four years, he worked six nights a week, 52 weeks a year. Now, that's a pretty rough schedule for a young fella, especially when you consider that he didn't have a penny to show for it. But Andy knew that paying those kind of dues would pay off. And at 17... He left Spain to make his mark on the rest of the world, where he gets paid for his services. Currently, he's getting more than just money for his efforts. There's got to be a lot of satisfaction for him, knowing he's got the most popular song in the country for the second week in a row, and his second number one. So, with the number one song in America, here's Andy Gibb and Love is Thicker Than Water. Love it. Please. 
is paradise But I can't leave her While I need her more than she needs you That's what I'm living for is thicker than water. It'll be interesting to see what happens next week. His brothers are moving up and they're at number two. Well, we'll save that for next week. You've just heard the 40 most popular records determined by Billboard magazine for the week ending March 11th, 1978. American Top 40 is produced in Hollywood by Watermark Incorporated. Executive producer Tom Rounds, producer Nikki Wine, creative consultant Don Bastani. I'm Casey Kasem. Join me again next week for our countdown of the 40 biggest hits in the USA. Until then, keep your feet in the ground and keep reaching for the stars. And keep your radio tuned right where it is. This classic presentation of Casey Kasem's American Top 40, the 70s, was digitally remastered by Shannon Lynn and produced by Lori Crimmy. Production by Stephen Carthy. Special thanks to Matt Wilson, Rob Durkee, Pete Battistini, and of course, Casey Kasem. 